Hey guys, what's up everyone? This is the Shankopotamus, and I do know that I have not uploaded in a long time. This is like a really big drought for me of not uploading videos, and i just been absolutely really busy with stuff in my real life right now. Um, just I'm on spring break right now, so you think I'd have a lot of time to do stuff. I know a lot of people have been messaging me, and they're being like, why haven't you uploaded a video or whatnot, and I haven't been on Skype in forever. I haven't played Call of Duty in, I don't know, it's been a while, but... Right now it's spring break, it's Thursday afternoon, it's like 4.30 almost, and I just got back from looking at a bunch of colleges down south, that's what I was doing this last few five days or something like that, and today is actually my only day I'm going to be home really during spring break, because I'm going to be home today after going one day through today looking at colleges, and then tomorrow afternoon I'm leaving to go to my cousin's house up near Boston, and I live in New Jersey if you guys don't know, so... It's like a six hour drive or so, so this is my only day I'm going to be home, so I don't think I'm going to be able to upload more videos until next Monday, maybe my next video will come out, hopefully, but um, just a lot of driving. I went down, I saw uh, University of Richmond, uh, UNC Chapel Hill, where else did I go, Wake Forest, and High Point University, which was uh, ridiculous, if like the combinations it had there. But I'll talk about some of the schools, I guess. I can make the commentary based off that. Did I see anywhere else? I think I just saw those schools. I'm trying to think. I, w I went down south during President's Weekend, and I saw a ton, a ton of schools. But uh, I just went down, and we never got a tour of UNC, so we thought we'd go do that again. And UNC is, it is a big school. I don't know if anyone watches my videos that goes to UNC, but... Um, it's a really big school, and it's tough to get into also, and I don't know, I'm just kind of nervous about, <laughs> like, applying for schools and stuff now, because I'm not sure which ones I can get into, because I know U UNC and, uh, Maryland, University of Maryland are actually my top two schools I think I want to get into right now, and I'm just kind of nervous if I can get into them or not, I don't know if I have the right SAT scores, I need to get my SAT scores up a little bit to get in there, I'm right on the cusp of the middle 50%, I want to get it up in there, so I'm good. My grade point average is good. The only thing I'm worrying about right now is the course selection, because at all these, like, high caliber schools that I've been looking at, they're saying that you have to take basically a lot, a lot of AP classes, and I haven't taken, I've taken honors classes now, and I get A's primarily in them, but apparently that isn't good enough, and they want to see that you're taking the most challenging curriculum that your school offers, so that's the only thing that's hurting me right now, and I haven't I haven't taken any AP classes yet, I just never thought that it was necessary, but it seems like they really want to see that. So next year, I'm going to have, a, have to have a chat with my guidance counselor and change up some of my course selection for next year. Hopefully take, I think I'm going to take two AP classes, um, I don't know, we'll see what she thinks. But all these schools I've been looking at, basically they strongly stress the AP classes. And some of the schools like Richmond, oh no, oh yeah, I just saw Loyola this morning, I forgot on the way home, or Lay, Loyola. But those two schools, Richmond and Loyola, they were very small private schools. And I realized from going on this trip that I really liked the bigger school atmosphere. So I think that's what I want to look at from now on. Plus, they were uh, like $50,000 a year, which is way out of the price range that my parents and I can pay. So uh, the only way that would happen is if we got some serious financial aid because those schools are ridiculously expensive. I mean, UNC is very affordable for in-state. It's only totaling 19000 I think, for in-state. Out-of-state is but considering the education you get from there, I think it's well worth it. And I'm, I'm in New Jersey, and there really isn't that many good state schools, and that's the big problem that we have. And we noticed, like, on the, going on those tours, there's a lot of people from New Jersey down in that area, like in the south and the southern states like North Carolina, Virginia, that area, looking at schools because the only real state school that New Jersey has is Rutgers. And, I mean, Rutgers is a good school, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people that go to Rutgers. I know people, my mom graduated from Rutgers, and it is a good school, but it really isn't on the caliber of schools like down south, like some of those state schools like UNC. What else we got down there? There's Duke, University of Virginia, uh... I don't know, there's a bunch of good schools down there. I was actually going to look down in Georgia at uh, University of Georgia, and there's a big school down there, Emory. I think I think it's a private school, I'm not sure, but I think if I wanted to look at down there, I'd have to fly. I think I'm just not going to look at too many more schools. I'm going to look at a lot of them up online and apply to them, and then I think I'm not going to go down and actually look at them until I get accepted, because I, it was ridiculous driving down to North Carolina. We were in like the Raleigh-Durham area for the most part. Um... Wake Forest is like an hour west of there, and um, 
it's it's a really far drive. We drove about 1,400 miles, which was not fun at all. Last night, actually, we drove all the way from Wake Forest to Baltimore, and that took about eight hours. There's big tra there's big traffic. I think there was um an accident or something on I-95, but we were stuck in traffic for a very very long time, and it took like eight hours. And then we saw Lyola this morning and drove home. I'm just very happy to be home, but uh. Again, I'm going to Boston, so, I mean, it's good to see my family, but I really need a break after this, and I think, I'm not sure how long this video is, but High Point University had a ridiculous setup. They had a brand new, oh, everything there was brand new. They had a brand new movie theater, they had state-of-the-art facilities. They really didn't show us anything with the education, though. All they showed us was they had a movie theater, like a brand new movie theater, they had a pool, they had a, like an ESPN zone, it was like a sports bar, and in the basement was an arcade. And then they even had a steakhouse. So uh, it looked like more like a resort than a school. And my dad kept asking, well, oh, where do you guys do you guys go to school here? Or do you just have fun? So <laughs> that was definitely somewhere that I like. I have to look in more on the academics. But uh, as far as accommodations, accommodations, I can't talk. Accommodations, is that the word? As far as accommodations go, that was definitely one of the best. And the rooms honestly looked like hotel suites. They looked better than hotel suites. Um... So that was one of the nicest places I ever seen. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, though. A lot of a lot of times, these big schools will be kind of in the middle of nowhere, except in uh, UNC's case, Chapel Hill. But I think the gameplay is uh, just over now. I think I'm just going to keep talking for a little bit because I'd like to tell you guys a few more things. I went 42 and two in that game. So yeah, the gameplay is ra just wrapped up. I just put in a black screen here. I had to stop the recording for a second. But um, I'd like to hear your guys' input on what you think about the whole college admissions process and. How stressful junior year is, you know, getting all those applications in, making sure you do well on your SATs, because I know a lot of my viewers are in that age group. Uh, if you guys aren't, like, aren't juniors, you're younger than that, you're maybe in middle school, definitely start getting into clubs and doing activities and doing stuff now, because it's really important. I, I'm not really, I do track year-round, I do cross-country, winter track, spring track, but a lot of these schools want to see that you're a leader in a club, and to be a leader in the club, you have to start in the club. And what they don't want to see is a lot of memberships. They don't want to see member of this club, member of that club. What they want to see is that you progressed and you're the leader of a club. So definitely start getting into that kind of stuff now. Find something that you're good at and stick with it and uh, become a leader in it by the end of high school because that's definitely something colleges are looking for. So um, I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I could talk about this a lot more. If you'd like to see me talk more about this in future commentaries, let me know. So uh, I will see you guys next time. Uh, have a good day. Peace out, YouTube.